so important? RLS, as you said, is the Reporting and Learning System. It is a central provincial system for reporting adverse events, close calls, and hazards. Just as the name suggests, it's not just about reporting the, um, the adverse events, but it's also about learning and making changes so to improve patient safety. Well, that was my next question, actually. <laughs> <laughs> how does RLS impact patient care? Thank you for answering that ahead of time. I'll just add to that, okay. though, that um, the RLS actually promotes a just culture. That is a culture that um, is without blaming and naming. The RLS looks at events that can be resolved through changes in workflow and systems. By looking at systems rather than putting blame on individuals, there will be more reporting, so therefore patient safety is improved as well. Brenda, right what is the med reconciliation and why is it so important? Okay, med reconciliation or med rec as, as it's, it's known is a patient safety initiative and it's, uh, it's important because it strives to ensure that patients are getting the correct medications at the various transitions in care, admission, transfer and discharge. So that's, would that be how it would affect or impact patient care? Well, it's ensuring, as I said, that patients are getting the correct medication at the various transitions of care and the, commu the co uh, communication with the patients and their families goes on to review the medications that the patients are on. Oh, excellent. So how is the information we collect related to or communicated to the patient's families in a way it can be used to improve their experience with us at Covenant Health? Okay, well, it's an interaction between the families and the, the patients, um, caregivers in general. The interaction and the communication goes on to ensure that they are getting the medications that they came in on, and if there's any transfers of med any changes in medication that is, is put on the medication. How does an awareness of high alert medications impact patient care? What it does is ensures that their nursing staff and the pharmacy staff that are providing these medications to patients aren't getting them mixed up with something else. We have high alert medication stickers that we put on all of this to ensure that those patients are getting the right medication and the right dose. That's good. So how is the information we collect related or communicated to our patients and families in a way that we can that can be used to improve patient care with Helen Health? When we're dealing with medications, we identify a lot of this through, through our previously mentioned medication reconciliation that you talked to Brenda about. And what we do is we identify those high alert medications to the patient and the family. For example, a patient with type 2 diabetes that's on insulin, we ensure that when we're giving that at a care level, we've done all of our seven points of checks, and we've identified that that and separated it in our arms. What is the policy around safe bath temperatures, and what are, why is that so important to our patients? Well, safe bath temperature policy it outlines the practices and accountabilities to make certain that the bath temperature or shower temperature is between 38 and 43 degrees Celsius to help prevent burns and scalds for our clientele. Mm. So how does monitoring the safe bath temperatures affect our patient care? Well, our patients look forward to their baths now. We ensure that they get up to two every week, whether it be a bath or a shower. So we'd like to know that they're safe and they also like to know that they're not going to get that cold bath or that hot bath. Right. So how is the information we collect related to, to or communicated to patients and families in a way that can be used to um, in, improve the experience they have with Covenant Health? Even on admission, that whole process is explained to both the patients as well as the families that accompany them to just let them know that this is the temperature that's safe for the bath, that 38 to 43 degrees Celsius. So that those clientele that really like the hot bath, they know that that's not going to happen just because it could result in that scald or burn. So again, that communication is so important, isn't it, Lori? Kathy, what is safe surgical checklist and why is it so important? The safe surgery checklist is a communication tool used by all members of the surgical team, including the patient. It's performed at three separate stages through the patient's surgical journey. So how does the safe surgical checklist affect patient care? By going through the checklist, we ensure that not only we're doing the right surgery on the right patient on the right side, but also we share any other critical information related to the patient. Better communication equals safer care.